All right, welcome to my solar backyard. Tiny little suburban lot with three big arrays for about 10,000 watts. I got this little 400 watt array powering the garden pond soul gen to run the pumps and some lights. And my newest one is right over here. This is a mini 100 watt, 250 watt panels. I just got done installing yesterday, buried the cable, and I wanted to show you my work. It's a really slick little system I got set up here. So I got a new fence, and so I wanted to pretty everything up and do it better, <laughs> I guess is what I want to say. These are new power 50 watt each mono solar panels. And they have some problems with the brackets. These are also new power brackets here. And these are adjustable. Check this out. Right here. All right. I got it facing the sun right now in the morning. But during the day, you just put them up here. And with these hold them up brackets, I put in a quick release. You just screw them up into here to hold it in place. Pretty slick. Got the combiner right here attached to the new pole. I'm using 12 gauge landscaping wire which is direct buried. It runs right down here. Buried this yesterday. And it goes into here and up into Gizmo. And what Gizmo does is it takes the uh, solar panel power. And I've got this guy right here, which has dual PD USB C and then a regular USB QC 3.0. They're all independent processors. It's not one controlling all three and then kind of splitting the power. Each one will take the power. This measures the direct input of what the solar panel is doing. And I also have a little mini Wanderer PWM solar charge controller in here, which I'm going to take out and just put a regulator in. It's going to take the PV panel power and just regulate it down to 13.8 to run um, a little 5.5 right here you know for your laptop or power source 12 volt power socket here and then an SAE 2 pin over here this will be 13 8 point volts no battery don't need a battery right now I've got the Soundcore X600 up here so I can listen to it it's an outdoor type thing anyway so and then for testing the solar panels I'm using this frog bro solar panel multimeter and you just plug them in to test your solar panels it's really easy backlight right here good for up to 800 watts 60 volts pretty damn cool really good tool to have if you've got a lot of solar panels like me you know working backyard solar but um, yeah that's it what I wanted the whole purpose of this thing is just to have a phone charger and Bluetooth speaker charger or run a 12 volt whatever and the only the, the phone that I'm recording this on is a Samsung Galaxy S20 plus in a super fast charging mode it only needs 18 watts. I've got 100 over here that I can tap into. So, you know, just 20% or 80% loss of light, I'm still be able to super fast charge. So, but one 50 watt panel would, would be fine in direct sun. But uh, there you have it. Got this all prettied up here yesterday. Got it all cleaned up, all the wiring, did some bearing there. 
it's all pretty. Cleaned out the pond here. All good to go, sanitized. And uh, supposed to have storms for the next three days. And uh, I always want to get to work sanding and doing some trim work here before I stain. But this turned out really, really good. Really pretty. And I got some more panels coming to finish over there. So there you have it. New little mini array. I got four arrays back here. No, I'm sorry, three. I got one, two, separate, and then this guy, and this guy on the, perg on the pergola, and this guy all go into the garage for the house system. There you have it. Thanks for watching my video, Backyard Solar Heaven, basically. All right, later.